as Wisconsin Green Muslims, which is a statewide grassroots environmental justice group. The intention is to educate everyone about the Islamic environmental teachings and to apply them in daily life and to form collaborations, coalitions towards a just, healthy, peaceful, and sustainable future. And in the next slide, I show our primary two sources, which are the Quran, the Holy Book for Muslims, and the Hadith, the reports, sayings, and traditions of Prophet Muhammad, God's peace and blessings be upon him. We combine that with scientific knowledge. So I'm a scientist, I'm an ecologist, and we design education and service programs and activities with the community. Next, I show that there are chapters in the Quran, the Holy Book for Muslims. There are 114 chapters. Some of the chapter titles are the cow, the bees, the light, the ants, the spider, the star, the iron, the people, the pen, the dawn, the sun, the moon, the night, the day, the fig, and the elephant, and, and many stories and many lessons. The first word that was revealed to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who was illiterate, was read. 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 In our lunar Hijri Islamic calendar of 12 months, we orient ourselves with the moon and celebrate the budding crescent as the beginning of the month. And the full moon is the middle of the month. We are now in the holy month of Rajab, the seventh Islamic lunar Hijri month, two months before the holy month of Ramadan, the month of daily fasting from dawn till dusk. We orient ourselves with the sun for our daily Islamic prayers, Fajr prayer, which is the dawn prayer, Dhuhr is the noon prayer, Asr is the afternoon prayer, Maghrib is the sunset prayer, and Isha is the evening prayer. Next, in Islam, there are clear teachings and signs about the important, beautiful, and intricate balance of creation. God repeatedly tells us to maintain that balance and not to upset the order in creation. God says in the Quran, chapter 55, verses 7 to 10, and God has set up the balance of justice in order that you may not transgress due balance. So establish weight with justice and fall not short in the balance. It is God who has spread out the earth for all God's creatures. And in chapter 3, verse 108, these are the signs of God. We rehearse them to thee in truth. And God means no injustice to any of God's creatures. In the next slide, Prophet Muhammad, God's peace and blessings be upon him, is reported to have said, if doomsday is about to take place, while well, any one of us has a tree sapling in our hand, which we can cultivate, let's cultivate it, for we will be rewarded. This message of active hope inspires me to plant and to tend the garden of life. My tree sapling is Wisconsin Green Muslims. And in the next slide, I show the model that worked for us, which is the open circle of every monthly theme that we can think of, <laughs> of diverse monthly themes. We designate a theme for each month. We focus on it and participants from different Islamic centers, formal and informal Islamic schools and institutions, quantify the results and celebrate the outcomes. Then move to a new theme in the next month. This diverse approach enables us to connect with a variety of constituents who join our open circle at the point of entry that matches their interest. So we meet them where they are and we, we open the circle. The, the circle is open to all, whether it's their interest is in water equity with lead issues that affect vulnerable population, 
or community vegetable gardens with families participating, an intergenerational exchange of knowledge that takes place, or solar energy and energy efficiency with engineers and facility managers coming into the fold, or friendly recycling competitions, waste reduction, that robust youth participation comes on board, or transit equity issues with seniors, students, and people of disability concerned about transportation access and affordability. We celebrated Transit Equity Day on Friday, February 4th, in honor of Rosa Parks' birthday. Next slide. Uh, we start the year focused on climate change. In 2015, I assisted with writing a draft of the International Islamic Declaration on Global Climate Change. The declaration calls for a rapid phase out of fossil fuels and a transition to equitable 100% renewable energy, as well as increased support for vulnerable communities and climate refugees already suffering from global climate impacts. In the next slide, Wisconsin Green Muslims coordinates the Wisconsin Faith Communities for Equitable Solar Initiative. Through over 145 one-on-one -on -one and small group conversations, listening sessions, presentations, Wisconsin Green Muslims reach more than 7,000 people of different backgrounds and a wide variety of constituents in Wisconsin to generate just solar guiding principles from the people, by the people, for the people rooted in our collective values of justice, equity, and inclusion. Two pathways came from these listening sessions and conversations. Number one is energy efficiency to solar power. And number two, solar trainings to living wage jobs, primarily for women, people of color, and disadvantaged com communities. We are centering energy democracy in our work that is community-based, solutions-focused, frontline-led, and justice-centered renewable energy efforts. We connect with people from at least 19 faith traditions, spiritualities, and philosophies. Wisconsin Green Muslims has two interfaith initiatives, Wisconsin Faith and Solar and Faithful Rainwater Harvesting, or Farah, which means joy. Connecting faith communities with the unifying powers of sunlight and rainwater as sacred trusts and gifts, while providing valuable peer learning and, ed and education, assessments, and collaborative benefits to advance equitable solar and solutions to flooding, so that together we increase our understanding, appreciation, and care of our co common and shared home. This is one in the bottom left here, is one of the faith and solar projects that encompasses green infrastructure to collect the rain in an underground cistern and the solar panels that generate power to pump the water up to irrigate the community garden plots, hence providing food, light, and power to the people. In the next slide, Wisconsin Green Muslims had educated thousands of people of all ages and backgrounds in Wisconsin and beyond on a variety of environmental topics, including climate change, water, food, fair trade, solar energy, energy efficiency, waste reduction, and transportation equity. The group's Green Ramadan campaign is now shared and implemented in approximately 20 states and globally. I'm a founding member of the Islamic Society of North America Green Initiatives team. And we established a guide for the Green Masjid, Green Mosque, as well as collaborated with the Environmental Protection Agency to publish the Energy Star Action Workbook for Muslim communities. In the next slide, there are many reasons for why a gathering of people in a circle is powerful. A circle is a shape that is found repeatedly throughout the natural world and it is a symbol of perfection. We recreate this perfect shape when we join others to form a circle. Being in a circle allows us to experience each other as equals. It facilitates collaboration and dialogue, 
because the circle has no beginning and no end. The agreement to connect in a circle allows energy to circulate from one person to the other. In Islam, the circle represents the unity of the monotheistic God. Its center represents God, as well as the city of Mecca, considered the spiritual and geographical centers of Islam, respectively. Malcolm X, a Muslim human rights activist who adopted the name Al-Hajj Malik al-Shabazz after returning from the Islamic Hajj pilgrimage in Mecca, stated, when I is replaced with we, even illness becomes wellness. I repeat, when I is replaced with we, even illness becomes wellness. The Islamic act of greeting the house of Allah, God, which is the Kaaba in Mecca, which what you see here in the, in the picture, is with the circular tawaf of worshippers walking around the Kaaba. Around the Kaaba as part of the Hajj pilgrimage. I reflect on the Islamic concept of Hijra, which is migration and just transition, from the bad to the good, from false climate solutions to real climate solutions, from injustice to equity, justice and peace. Together we can do all this. Together we can turn illness into wellness. These images are during the Islamic pilgrimage, pre-COVID in the left and post-COVID in the right, with social distancing and limited numbers of people allowed Still, the act of circling around the house of Allah is central to the Islamic ritual. Also, when praying from all corners of the world facing Mecca, Muslims form circles in spirit, standing shoulder to shoulder in brotherhood and sisterhood. Together we pray for climate justice and environmental justice for all. Next, please. People who take part in a circle find that their power increases exponentially while with the group. Like a drop of water rippling on the surface of a pond, the waves of energy produced in a circle radiate outward in circular motion. May our collective healing circle emanate ripples of energy, power, and light that it can transform and heal ourselves and the world. Amin. Thank you. Peace, salam to all.